Gabriella. This is me, and I love being me. I love having short hair, wearing track pants, and soccer jerseys, but most of all, playing soccer. Since I cut my hair short and wear boys' clothes, people often mistake me for a boy. They ask me, why did you cut your hair short? Or, you look like a boy now. It's these experiences that make me wonder why it's a concern of others. I remember a seven-year-old boy even asking his mom if I was still a girl now that my hair was short. Isn't it important whether I'm a girl or a boy? Why does it matter to you? Because it does not matter to me, my friends, or my family. My gender doesn't tell you anything about who I am as a person. And it shouldn't define who I am and who we are as people. Sometimes people judge me when I don't follow these gender stereotypes. I was amazed because I was treated differently when we went to places. For example, when we went to rent skis, I was being told to wait because it's made in Ford and Young's or at Burger King. I was automatically being given the boy's toy and my sister the girl's toy. Is this right? What are some gender stereotypes and where do they come from? I question why these stereotypes still exist in 2020. Most people expect boys to have short hair, play sports, wear spray clothes, and be strong. Most people expect girls to have long hair, do gymnastics or dance, and wear the color pink or purple with dresses or skirts. Does this mean I'm not a girl because I don't follow these gender stereotypes? I remember when I was just three years old, everyone wanted to be fairies, princesses, or witches, and I wanted to be a Spider-Man, a firefighter, or a police officer. As soon as I could talk, I was telling my mom I didn't want the pink or purple dresses. I wanted the blue Spider-Man shoes, while all the others were choosing pink and purple shoes. So don't be afraid to be who you are, even if it goes against the gender stereotypes. I am a female, so I go into the girls' bathroom. In the bathroom, girls used to often stare at me and whisper to each other behind my back. And if they have the confidence enough, they tell me I'm in the wrong bathroom. So what bathroom am I supposed to go into? Because I shouldn't go in the boys' bathroom because the boys will say I should be in the girls' bathroom. So what should I do? At the beginning, this is quite difficult, but I adapted to it. How? I would wait for the bathroom to be empty for all the girls to be gone so that I wouldn't be stared at or whispered behind my back. Or if I just had no choice, I would just ignore them and continue love being me. I've been thinking about growing my hair long again. Why do I feel this way? because I don't want people in my football tournaments always thinking they're a boy, because I don't want people whispering about me, because I don't want people judging how I dress. No, I don't care about all that. I want long hair because I can choose to have long hair, short hair, or a mohawk. I choose to be me, Gabriella Haug. So don't be who you're told to be. Be you. Thank you.